The field of crowd simulation has matured to the point where there is a wide variety of simulation techniques to choose from. However, evaluating which simulation performs the best is still an open problem. Recent advances in computer vision, motion capture, and other tracking technologies have greatly increased the amount of real-world data available for evaluation. However, directly comparing simulations to these data sets is a challenging problem. Sources of difficulty include differences in how simulators represent the simulation state, differences in what types of information the real-world data compares, noise in the data sets, and the fundamental uncertainty of human motion. We propose a new method to robustly compare crowd simulations to data sets, which accounts for these issues. Our method is based on the EM algorithm for statistical inference. We first use a Bayesian smoother to estimate likely states of the crowd simulation based on the crowd data. We then compute a distribution of the error between the simulation states and the states inferred from the data. Finally, we use this new estimate of the error to better infer the simulation states from the data. This process is iterated until convergence. We now have an estimate for the distribution of errors between the computed simulation states and those inferred from the data. We summarize this multidimensional error distribution with a single number by computing its entropy. The lower the entropy of the error, the better the simulation matches the data. We analyzed our metric on three different types of crowd simulators. RVO, the social forces model, and steering behaviors. Each simulation type was tested over three variations and parameters, labeled 1, 2, and 3. We first demonstrate the qualities of the entropy metric with a simple data set. Here is data captured of two human swapping positions. This is a variant of RVO which poorly matches the data, and the entropy is very high. Choosing better parameters decreases the entropy and improves the match. Here is an even closer match with lower entropy. Finally, a carefully tuned simulation matches best of all and has the lowest entropy score. We now apply the entropy metric to more complex scenarios. Here is a rendering of real-world data of pedestrians walking across the street. We compare first to a simulation with a high entropy. It has several visible differences from the data highlighted here. Here is another simulation that scores poorly. It also has several differences from the data in the same areas. This simulation has a much improved entropy score. It now matches the data well in the same highlighted regions. Here is a comparison of the final state of each simulation. We now show results from a very large data set consisting of hundreds of people walking through a narrow passageway. This simulation, with a poor entropy score, matches the data poorly in terms of both the speeds of the agents and the overall density. This simulation has a better entropy score and the resulting densities match somewhat better. The final simulation has a much better entropy score and matches the data better in terms of both speeds and densities. Here we show all the simulations side by side with the data and highlight several areas of difference. In conclusion, we have presented a method for robust statistical evaluation of a crowd simulation to real-world data. Our method can be applied to many different types of simulations and different types of data and works equally well with both large-scale and small-scale simulations. Additionally, our method accounts for potential noise in the data set and uncertainty in the models of human motion. For more details, see the accompanying paper.